Eric Klein is one of my favorite people in the world. And I'm so grateful that uh, for his presence in, in my group coaching program, um, we learn from each other. And uh, Eric is developing a business, of a, a spiritual community. Um, so uh, first of all, Eric, welcome to this. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So we're going to hear from you several times. We're, I'm, I'm going to do this interview with you several times this year. And okay. each time uh, you'll get to share a bit of progress on how it's going with developing your uh, spiritual teaching business and uh, some insights that viewers and listeners might find encouraging, helpful as they also develop their own authentic business. So mm -hmm. to start, let me allow you to introduce your, your business. You know, however, whatever you would like to say is, is great. So Okay, well, I am a co-leader of the Wisdom Heart community with my wife, Davy, And Wisdom Heart is a uh, contemporary expression of a very ancient lineage called the Kriya Yoga lineage. So those teachings go back thousands of years. And we're, as is the tradition in our lineage, we constantly, it's constantly updating its expression to meet the needs of the current situation. So here I am in 2023 doing that. And Basically, we teach three things. We teach how to deepen your meditative communion with and by waking up to the divine presence through spiritual practice. We teach how to heal, to use that presence to heal karma and trauma that gets in the way of having a awakened life. And then once the, as the healing progresses, to share your presence and your gifts with others to support their awakening, whether they're in your family or whether they're clients or in your community. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. And um, tell us about a bit about what kind of, I mean, the offers basically, like how, how is it, how uh -huh. is this wisdom expressed in terms of the actual programs okay. or offerings? Well, that's maybe one of the uh, reflections in terms of progress yeah. that I can give, because while we have about, 30 or four, maybe it's 40 different programs that have been, we've developed over the years. I haven't really organized them into, into like these three buckets until very recently. And that's one of the insights that came from doing the framework program. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was a potpourri uh, of, uh, it was like a, it was like a buffet, but that the desserts were with the salads and the main <laughs> dishes were over there and the rice was here. And it was sort of like, go to a buffet, you have to figure out how to eat your right, meal. Right, yeah. and we, we didn't have it organized in a, in, a, mm. in a way that allowed people to progress and feel mm. a sense of safety and comfort and yes. development, right? Yeah. So that's the way to start with saying, First, understanding there are these three frames that we teach. That was mm. a first step. And now I've organized the programs under them. So this was yeah. another kind of progress. And now what we are in the process of doing is um, creating the foundation program, right. which is an introduction to these three disciplines and, and a light introduction to some of the key programs that go underneath them. I love it. So for someone who's watching who is like yes i too have a bunch of different ideas yeah i need to organize them into some kind of framework um eric was mentioning uh the create your framework course i'll put a link below um but do you want to share anything about your process for, or any tips like sure. how did how was it given the 40 how did you figure out these three good question okay one thing I did was first, I overthought how to do it. So I would recommend getting that step out of the way as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. okay. Because it's there is no perfect framework. Right. Oh gosh. So that's so the first thing. And it was sort of like I noticed, you know, I noticed this, which I have a tendency to parse things and 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 make distinctions and such and it was like no i'm doing this and nobody cares about all those i want to make it so it's an invitation yeah simple enough to yes. to let people have a sense of being held yes okay so 
I just set myself the goal of having these th three things that anyone had to think about. I know yeah. you have eight or maybe they're growing into a hundred, but nonetheless, <laughs> I wanted to have three. Okay. Yes. And yes. then it was like, then it was also this thing. It's so, okay. Eric, take a big step back, like a really yeah. bigger step view of what it is. And if you had to say there are three of them, three disciplines, what are they? Yeah. What are you really doing? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And Sure, stuff overlaps and all yes, that, but course. that's inevitable. There's no way to stop that. That's right. So that was the main thing, to take a big step back and go, I can remember these three. I can yeah. communicate about them, and yes. they do make sense with the offerings. So. Yes. Yes. And not to and then not to second guess. I did I showed them to people in the community and okay. in the, yep. showed them to people in our community. I showed them to people at Master at Heart ABC community. Yes. Mostly I got better feedback, I think, from the ABC people because they didn't know so much about what we do. Right. So, so it was, it was better to show them in a sense. So, yeah. To yeah. people who were on the in the spiritual. general spiritual yeah. orientation but yes. not knowing this work so right. it's like oh yeah i oh that makes perfect sense and yes or here what about that little tweaks you know yes. in terms of when they fed it back to me yes. that was a yes. question so what does that mean to you and then they fed it back and then so i got oh in yeah. other words you got feedback from colleagues you might say um yeah or sort of like sort of spiritual generally spiritually in tune people I mean, because you teach spirituality so it's like people who are in that arena but who aren't experts in yeah. your field the experts in your field probably would have done more parsing and like exactly distinctions and well what what do you really mean by that word you know it's like no, yeah it's the general public or the or the typical student uh, when they first begin are isn't going to nitpick those yeah. issues yeah and another thing i thought about these three um well, that was that's what it relates to what you're saying. I thought about them as invitations to a the, the general audience. They're really not yeah. for the initiated, so to speak. They're for the people who want to come into and explore. Yes. And so I also wanted to be able to um, state them in ways that weren't too much insider baseball, you know. Yes. And I yes. wanted to state them in ways that were aspirational. That's like, right. Yes, yeah. aspirin. Tell us again, if you don't mind, uh, the okay those three so that so yeah. and the, so there's a name for it and then there's a like a operationalized tagline so to speak. Yeah. So it's deepen meditative communion. Ah, okay. That's the discipline. Mm -hmm. I also, by the way, I'm, this is something I learned from you. So I'm calling them disciplines because I'm hoping that's a filter to repel people who don't want discipline. Right. This is not a magical cure. Right. This is a, pra this is a practice. Part and of our framework, that's part yeah. of the job is to do a good filtering job. Yeah. Yeah. So three disciplines, and I have developed a talk. So like discipline is a horrible word, right? No, you know, it's like to right. explore that, right? Yeah. If it's, so one, meditative, deep in meditative communion, the, the operational expression is wake up to divine presence through daily spiritual practices. Mm. Heal karma and trauma. That's the second one, yeah. That's the second one too. Yeah. Heal reactive habits of body, speech, and mind with wisdom and love. Oh, nice. And the third one is share your presence and gifts. It says, witness and support others as they walk their awakening paths. Oh, nice. I, I like that it leads into essentially becoming a bit of a teacher for others. In yeah, exactly. Because we're teaching others something, but maybe not awakening, you know. So as we heal, we get to be a, a more benefic, beneficent teacher, you know, or yeah, more... Yeah generous yeah. teacher of, of goodness, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really good. So, uh, so I hope those who are watching can get some insight from this and just everything you've shared is helpful for, for one creating our own frameworks. I mean, just even me thinking about my own, I'm like, you know what, Eric's right. Um, my eight practices are actually, no, it's funny thing is I, I don't know if it's con was conscious or not, but my practice, well, 
I think mainly I, I needed to organize my own information. So I have mm -hmm. my eight practices of authentic business. And like, I'm like, I have to get clear on what the heck I am doing with all these different courses. Like, how do they all fit? It's like, mm -hmm. okay, these eight practices make sense for me. But you're right that I haven't, it's funny because I haven't done as good of a job as you have in terms of now creating something that is for the public to consume. Mm. Um, that's something like a three, but you're right. Eight would be too many. Uh, I mean, yes, B B Buddha had the eightfold path, but but <laughs> it's it, it's still most most what? people who are B B Buddhist uh, friendly don't even know what the eightfold path. That's is, true, right? <laughs> so they could could name it if if you if you, if you tested them, right? Um, so okay, right, so this is really good. You've got your three. Um, that are that are mm. public consumable, or at least it's friendly to your beginner students, people who might be interested. And then now you're developing a foundations course. I think that's also progress I want you to talk about yeah. and the insights as you're developing it. How what's going into that thinking process of developing it? Okay. I used to lead with a program called the Meditation Habit. Right. Okay. Remember that. And that. I, it is a core competency or discipline under deep in your meditative community because if you don't have a habit, it's not going to get very deep, right? right? But this is more of a, I guess this is more than framed in the level of business strategy. There's so much uh, competitive material for free and for and for fee on the internet around habit and meditation and make your ha be a meditator and all that, that it's good that, that there's lots of competition because that means people want it. And it also, lots of it is free and lots of it is very inexpensive and lots of it is not very intimate. It's mm. app based or something like that. So right. how do I distinguish what we're doing? It's not really, it's not just learn how to meditate. It's a, it's a way of living an awakened life. And so these three disciplines, I think, if I'm answering your question, I don't remember anymore, are a way for me to step, to invite people to step back and consider their life and how meditation is one of the disciplines that helps them cultivate yeah. that life. So yeah. the foundation program is has a little bit of how-to but it's also more of a why to. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And yes. who to, like, who do you want to be and why do you want to be that? And here's some hows. Those are the programs. Right. Yep. Yeah. I like that you are approaching it from how is, how is my framework unique? What's a unique contribution? Mm-hmm. Not that no one else in the world has said no. it this way, but sure. it's what's a unique contribution compared to the mainstream that the typical beginner student probably has seen out there. Yeah. This is and a it, little different. It's something you said the other day about um, promising your care and yes. your and your connection. I, I don't know. And, and your structure. And yeah, promising, promising your framework, your framework yeah. and your care. Yeah. And... I think that's a lot of what the um, the message implicit in the foundation course is. Yes, yes. It's to is to communicate the care and to make the connection and to that's right to that's frame right. things for people so that they have a sense there is a meaningful map they can enter a journey they can go on. That's beautiful. Yeah, and just to give the context, promising our our framework, our our curriculum, and our care, and our presence, and that we that we do our best to live our values really and that the, the values are communicated within within our work yeah. um rather than promising you know hyped up results of what, what would that be in meditation oh join our meditation program and you will uh i don't know make six yeah. figures no <laughs> conquer the world you know <laughs> conquer the world yeah you will you will instantly be forever enlightened and um yeah, uh, so, yeah. So this is really good. And so the foundation program, you're, 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 you're um, yeah, you're bringing the structure, the why, um, the clarifying that. And so how are you imagining you will launch this? I think this will be interesting for, for those watching. Again, everyone who's watching, like, think about your own knowledge 
space and how you might create a framework from that. And therefore having some kind of foundation, of course, I, I do as well. Those of you watching may know about my biz plan course. That's my mm -hmm. foundations course. And yeah. so it's like, everyone should, it's, if you have a lot of things to teach, have a foundation. So how uh, are you envisioning presenting this, mm -hmm. sharing it with, with the world? Any thoughts okay. on that? Yep. So, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I think, I guess a couple of ways. I'm not sure if it's three or, well, I'll say it's three, but I can't sure, remember. Sure. So great. one is through, first of all, the schedule, I'm, I'm consider. I'm thinking I'll do it three times a year. Yeah, there we go. Right. Yeah. So quarterly just seems too much, and mm -hmm. twice a year at this time just doesn't feel right. So we'll see. Three times a year, this will be a way of um, following the foundations program. There'll be a suggestion for a bit of a DIY program for them to do. Yes. simple short mm -hmm. or the invitation to come into the community right now the community you know has just always be, has always been open yes and while that works for certain people it can also feel like you're you're jumping on a moving train yeah and yeah there's or no you're like, coming into a meeting where people are already yeah talking. they're already in the conversation yeah. and they already know each other and there's insider like humor and sort of that whole sense of like am I a stranger here you know yeah. Yeah. so I think I don't know if the I don't know if you use the word onboarding but it's sure. some kind of process for bringing yeah. people in and and having some of the senior students be like buddies for that person who comes through the foundations program to help them join so they either move to a diy sort of thing and then hopefully the community or straight into the community so that's three times a year i'm assume i'm planning to do social media intensives of my content and ads and stuff you know obviously surrounding all the gentle launch material around those okay yes and um we're changing our like when people come to the land, the website initially right now, there's a program they can take called Seven Days of Clarity, which I love, but it's different. It's like, it has a different flavor mm. than yes. what I'm moving into, yes. which is much more transparently, it's much more transparent and much clearer and much yeah. more true in terms yeah. of what we do in the community. Right. Because I had many decades of working in corporations doing consulting. My Seven Days of Clarity is very, vanilla uh it's, it's good yeah. sciency speaks more to that that yes. language yes. than to the uh awakening language right now i like just to go back to the fact that you're doing it three times a year it's really nice i actually do my foundation course once a year that's yeah. because i have so many other courses i'm teaching but when i was starting i did teach it more often and i um and I found it was really helpful to continue um, honing it, you know, refining it. And the, by by this point, my foundation course, I don't know, it's probably version 12 or 15 mm. or something like that. And, um, but, but the fact that, so you are teaching it live three times a year. Is that right? That's what I'm planning to do yeah, until right. I can have someone, until we can have real, some videos that I'm happy with. That's right. You know, yeah. And then I can have, develop people to do more like facilitative conversations right. around the videos that's right that's right yeah. and the the future versions yeah you could still launch it three times a year yeah. but it'll be like here are the recorded video material and here's our live meetings that's yeah. The, yeah that's really nice and and then you said that you know once someone takes the foundations course um they can follow up if they want to keep going, they have these two pathways. They you could do the DIY, mm -hmm. do it yourself, that's the home study course kind of thing, or you they can join the community. And because you're 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 doing this launch or this announcement or this um, inflow three times a year, there's more likely to be like a, a little cohort that are joining at the same time. Right, that would yeah. be the whole, a cohort, and we and I can time my community curriculum to also be sort of beginning a program. That's right following yes, the yes. foundation so that you know so they're not coming in the middle of a conversation they're coming yeah. at the beginning of a conversation beginning. 
Really nice. Um, this is why I, I'm hope, hoping those who are watching, if you're also a teacher, um, kind of a curriculum creator of some kind, and if you're spiritually open, you might want to follow Eric's work and kind of see how Eric's does the foundations course. You might want to check it out and and experience it yourself and see, and see how you can use that that idea to create your own foundations course and your own framework. Um, so I'll put the links below. Um, any other, uh, you know, we only have a few minutes left, but any yeah. other key like insight or encouragement, thinking about an earlier version of yourself in your business, mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. encouragement tip would you, yeah. would you share with that person? Sure. Just put out stuff. Yeah. Just put it out there. Like, mm. I just really, I have, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a double Virgo. I like to refine things, but <laughs> what I learned when I wrote my first book was I so realized I'm rewriting this book three times. I'm now I'm on the fourth rewrite. No, stop. Just write the, write a new book, just put this one out. And instead of iterating on it, yeah. just iterate in a new, you know, a new edition, a new, a new publication, yes. but it's the it's same is true in video and, you yes, know, yes, just yes. put it out. And, yeah. you know, I, I grew up in New York City. And one of the things I learned as a kid, when you walk around, nobody's paying attention anyway. You can do anything in New York and nobody cares. <laughs> the world is distracted. So it's okay. To it's just even put, more true on social media. <laughs> it's even worse. Put out things and you teach it this way. You're learning and you're doing self-development. You're clarifying your own thinking. And it's if if you go that didn't make sense that's a victory now you can say it again that's right yeah. it's in, not, in it's, the next video or the next yeah, post. yeah it's like yeah publish more often you know oh basically. I love it yeah it's really important um, okay so the next time we get together Eric mm. um, in a few months uh, what would you love to celebrate at that point is there some uh, focus well I guess the foundations course right now that would be but, my main commitment yeah. is to have the foundations course have have done it at least once depending yes. on when we talk have done it at yes. least yes. once mm -hmm. and to have the new uh, offer a free thing that people can get when they land on the in the website to be redone because that's a, basically a short talk about the three disciplines that suggests mm -hmm. the foundations course ah okay. to have that done and hopefully to have people responding well to it i guess what would the what's the new thing going to be called if if you know if you know it at all at this point? I'm the, the working title is just the three disciplines of the awakened okay. life. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. So then yeah. people who are watching this can look for it on your site yeah. when it's ready. Yeah. Um and you'll you'll announce it probably on your email list and your social mm -hmm. media. So yeah. people can good. Okay. So I look forward to to hearing about that, the how that went and the insights learned from that next time. So thank you. Too. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to say as we complete, uh, complete this? If you're taking George's program, which I assume you are, if you're watching this, just take your time. That's yeah. all. There's yeah. a lot. To, there's a lot to digest. Yeah. 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 So thank and, you. and that's important. It's the metabolizing of it is the important yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Good. All right. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.